Today we're going over surface area. If you see here we have a rectangular prism. And if we were to cut that along some of the sides and lay it flat, we would have this shape here, which is called the net. When we go to solve surface area, we need to find the area of each one of these different rectangles here. You can see these are just all a bunch of rectangles. The top and the bottom are obviously the same size. If I look over here, this top and this top, the bottom down here would be the same size. The front and the back are the same size. If the, this front here and the back, which would be on the back side obviously, would be the same side. And this side here and this side over on this shape would be here and here. But when you unfold them, they're just a bunch of rectangles. And so we need to find the surface area. Now, to do that, we're going to find the area of each one of these rectangles. We know how to solve the area of a rectangle. We know that it's base times height. So let's take a look at it. Just Here we have the net, same shape. And if we take this first shape here, we see that it's a small rectangle. In order to get the area of a rectangle, we need to find the base times the height. They're also known as length times width. So if I were to take this shape here and cut it off and redraw it here, it would look something like this. And so I know how to figure out the area of a rectangle. I do the base times the height, but it doesn't tell me what the base is, so I need to go find it. So I'm looking for another line that is the same distance as this line. And I can see this shape right here, this line right here on shape B is the same line, but it doesn't give me the height. So I have to go find it somewhere else. I look down here, same one, it's a blue line, same distance, but it doesn't give it to me. Obviously over here, we can see that it tells us that this blue line is 6 meters. Well, that's the same distance as this blue line. So I know that the base then has to be 6. Now I need to go find the height. I see here the height of this is the same. It doesn't give me the distance, so I need to go find it. I look here, this is the same size and shape, but it doesn't give me the distance, so I continue to look for it, and I can see down here, this shape tells me that it's 5 meters. So this shape up here has to be the same. So now I know that the height is 5. And if, of course, I multiply 6 times 5, I figure out the area of shape C. That's going to be 30 meters squared. And so now I know that this is 30, and this shape over here is the same, so that is going to be 30 meters squared also. Now I continue to do this with the other two shapes. So if I go to solve shape A, I'm going to find, I need to find what the base is. It doesn't give me the, uh, what the, the distance of this base, so I need to go find it. It doesn't give it to me here, it doesn't give it to me here. Down here it does give me, it tells me it's 10 meters. So I know now that this shape has got to be 10. Now I need to find the height of A. And I know that it's this shape here, but it doesn't tell me what the distance is, but I've already found that shape. I found it over here. It tells me it's 5 meters. So I know that this has to be 5. So to figure out the area of shape A, I would do 5 times 10, or base times height, which would get me feet 50 meters squared. And I know that the other shape that's A would also be 50 meters squared. Now I go to solve B, and I would have to do the same thing. Fortunately, down here on B, they already tell me that the base is 10. So I just need to find the height. So I need to go find that same uh, side over there somewhere else. It's not here, but over here I see it's 6 meters. So now I know that this side over here, the height has to be 6. So if I do base times height, I would get 60 for this shape, 60 meters squared for this shape. So now I've been able to figure what the area of all the different shapes are. And so you can see here that I have 30, 30, 50, 50, 60, and 60. So to find the surface area, all I do is add those all together. So I have 30 plus 30 plus 50 plus 50 plus 60 plus 60. And I get 280 meters squared. So again, to solve surface area, you want to break the pieces into rectangles and find the area of each rectangle and then add them all together.